Hi there. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to get a CSV file into MapInfo, MapInfo Pro. And uh, it's this this data that, that you're seeing here is, uh, like I said, it's a CSV. It's called Open Pubs. Uh, it's open data that I've just downloaded from um, Open Data website. And it's pubs uh, in the UK. So you can see how there's uh, the data starts immediately at line one and uh, the text is in quotes or the data is in quotes and it's uh, I, I can sort of clearly understand what, what, what this data is I can see coordinates in these two columns and um, in these two I can see Latin long as well as British National Grid I can see some kind of city area town reference got a postcode there um, got a county uh, that's actually a, a, an address line and uh, there's the name of the pub and some kind of reference. So I can see my data. So it's important to know your data that, you, that you're loading in because we're going to alter the structure, that's why. So you've got to know your data. And I know I can map the data with, with these two uh, numbers here um, or with the um, uh, coordinates there. So I've, I've got uh, options. So let's go to map info. We'll just we'll close that. So in Map Info, you can just go to Open Table and change your file of type to CSV. And there is that text file. So it's not it's not mapped. So it doesn't matter almost what you what you put here. Well, if you can say no view, nothing will appear. Um, but I'll I'll just set it to browser so it definitely shows it browses the data but it won't be able to map it it won't do it automatically I'm going to create a copy of map info um, mainly because I want to do lots of sort of map info stuff with this data in future tutorials including editing so I'm going to um, copy this data into a map info format so I've got CSV press open uh, I've already done this before so I'm just going to say yeah I've opened the CSV before but I want to um, open it again. Maybe the CSV is uh, updated. I can click what delimiter. It's a comma delimitation. Delimiter going on there. Um, that's the character set. I'll leave it as default. It's on my machine, but you may need to change it in various countries. The first line does not include column titles. I do not have the field names, so I'm not going to check that. Press OK. So now you can see the data in Map Info. Like I said, it's not mapped. I can't map it. If I try and sort of grab open pubs here and, and sort of drag it into my map window, um, all it will do is open another browser. There's no mapping in this. So what I'd like to do first, and what the best thing is to do first, is tidy up these columns because they didn't they weren't supplied in the CSV. So to do that, under the Table tab, you'll see Table and Modify Structure. Press Modify Structure. I want to modify my pubs. Press OK. So what do I want to modify? Well, Column 1 has some kind of identifier. I think I'll leave that. So let's, let's just call it Code or something. I'll leave it in there just because it's uh, come across. Um, column 2 is Pub Name. Column three, that's, that looks like the pub address. Column four, well, that's definitely a postcode. As you can see, I can call it sort of whatever I like. So we've got X in column five, Y in column six, and then we've got lat and long. Um, and actually, because I've got BNG, I'm not even going to bring those across. I've got, I've got my coordinate system, so I'm going to hit remove. So that column nine is a sort of district area. I'm not fussed about, so remove that as well. I think. Um, so that's all. But as you can see, I could uh, I could alter the um, widths of, of where this data stored. So I'd say the longest pub name must be quite substantial. Um, but uh, I'll leave the rest of it. Press. Um, and the other thing I'll do is table is mappable because I want to turn this into dots on a map. So I click projection 
Uh, so it looks like it's defaulting on long and lat, WGS84, but I've just removed those two columns, which were seven and eight, because I want to use uh, five and six, which are the, uh, yeah, five and six, which are the British National Grid. So I'm just going to change that. British coordinate systems, national grid, 27700. Um, so make sure you change the projection to whatever um, your, your, your projection is that you're using, you know, whatever these coordinates are, because that's how you're going to get them on a map. So it just warns you, by the way, you've chopped up your data a bit. I've removed columns, etc. Fine. That's fine by me. So it still doesn't appear on the map. Um, we've got our um, open pubs here. If we go to browse again, you can see it's got some nice names at the top and it's a bit sort of clearer and um, we can understand this data. So let's put it on the map. Well, to put it on the map, what you do is you click on the spatial tab and go to create and create points. You see it says create points objects for a database with X and Y coordinates already in there. So create points. I'm creating points for open pubs. I'm going to, uh, it's got the projection it already knows about that because I set it in the modify table, modify structure button. I'm going to add it immediately to this map. It's the only one YouTube demo, it's the only one there. Um, there's no um, there's no points to overwrite because I've done this before. You'd check that if you'd already um, done it before and you want to overwrite. I can choose a symbol. Let's choose, uh, I don't know. Well, our star's okay, isn't it? Let's make, let's make them red, red stars. Um, size 12, that's okay. So where do we get the coordinates from? It's from X and from Y. So it's already had a good guess at that. It knows it. And in, in case there's any multiplication needed, you can, you can sort of put that in there. So let's press OK. And bingo. There you have it. So we have our uh, open data pubs uh, points on the map. And if we um, sort of click on, get an info window open and click on one, see a click and then it says that's uh, all the data behind it. And there you go, that's called the willow. Um, but there, there, there you go. So the, um, uh, so, so the, the, the key is, the, the steps are is when you go to an open table make sure you're looking at the structure you're, you're, you're after the format sorry so CSV or whatever so go, go to CSV and uh, but it could be a TXT file that's why it's got separate delimited ASCII CSV obviously comma delimited and then after you do that under under the table tab make sure you go to modify structure and on your file that you've just opened change the fields, alter some character lengths and stuff if, if they've just gone ridiculous and, and um, excessive, and uh, and also set your projection and make sure it says table is mappable. If you don't say table is map mappable, then you won't be able to do this create bit. And if I wanted to, and just to finish off, if I wanted to ungeocode, I could go to modify structure Go to my pubs, press OK. If I uncheck, uncheck that and press OK, they'll disappear from the map. And there you go. It's been ungeocoded. And then I can quickly re geocode by going back to modify structure, open pubs, table is mappable, clicking on projection, making sure it's what I need, press OK spatial, create, create points, that's all fine, X and Y, that's all fine, go, and they'll be back again. And actually, I, it put it into another, see it's in another um, uh, window there, so you can um, go back to your YouTube demo and just drag, see how you can drag from the tables list into that map. And close that one there. And there you go. Hope you find that useful. Thanks.